The latest XPS 13 keeps the slimness intact from the previous generations and although many power users might have performance as the focus, XPS 13 as always has given a visual treat to them as an addition factor. The footprint is minimal and the device is light enough to carry around easily. The Ultrabook also has a carbo fiber design on the inside for durability. The hinge is strong enough to not wobble the screen and the keys are evenly placed on the keyboard. The travel time of the keys are good and results in natural typing feel. Also, the power button doubles up as a fingerprint sensor, so that's nifty. Like before, there aren't many ports on this. All you get are two Thunderbolt 3 Type-C ports, microSD card reader, USB Type-C 3.1 for power delivery and display port, and a headphone jack. Dell has already nailed it when it comes to laptop display. We have seen screens with thin bezels in the past in the XPS lineup, and this time there's nothing new. The 13.3 inch Infinity Edge IPS display comes in different configurations, but the one here has 4K resolution and a touchscreen panel. With 100% sRGB support and 1500 to 1 contrast ratio, the colors are really punchy and saturated, and the brightness levels are sufficient enough at around 400 nits. Beastly is the word described for the performance of XPS 13. Our unit is powered by Intel 10th generation Core i7 processor, Intel UHD graphics, and 16 GB LP DDR3 RAM. There's also 512 GB SSD for faster opening of applications and performance. With that much power, you can throw pretty much anything at it, and the Ultrabook will be able to handle that. And there is no heating issue in this one. The audio performance might not be as good though, since this is not primarily for media consumption, but it is still loud and should get the work done. Dell claims that its latest XPS 13 has a 52 watt hour 4 cell battery on board. We will update you with the real life performance of the Ultrabook and whether it is worth carrying around without a charger or not.